If I couldn't speak English and I had to create some content to attract clients, First one is Interactive 3D. This first site is igloo.inc. Tiene una hermosa animación 3D, efectos al pasar el ratón, un poco de todo. Bawa ng 3D. And pagkazao, si na mag-scroll ka sa kaunting animation. This is what I would use to attract a global client base. It's an AI dubbing tool that allows you to customize your video into over 30 plus different languages. And it also uses AI to create the dubbing, but also lip sync your mouth to the actual dub, which I think is an amazing feature. So in your workspace, I'm gonna click create new and it takes you to the back end editor. Now you can actually create a blank canvas with different sizes, you know, for Instagram or Facebook, whatever it is. You can also just drag and drop a video. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna drag and drop one of these videos here. And it's going to load in. So you can see up the top left, you can see the little rainbow wheel there. Once it is finished, you can see in my media section, in the project section, it's actually currently uploading. So you wanna wait till it's fully uploaded so you don't run into any issues. All right, so you can see it's done and there's no more loading bar. I'm gonna go down to subtitles on the left. You've also got other manuals, you know, you can play around with auto videos, images, text. You can do a whole lot of crazy things with it. But I wanna show you the AI dub feature. Now you wanna click on subtitles and what I wanna do is click on the dub video. Now it can detect your language. You can also select what language uh, you've spoken in in the video. For me, it's gonna be English. I can actually even change it to uh, Australian English because I'm from Australia. And I wanna translate it to some different languages. So we've got Spanish here. Maybe I wanna go uh, like Italian or French. Uh, you can you know, add that in. As you can see, I can add multiple languages here. And you can just like click the little X there and it will uh, get rid of it. Uh, I want to stick with those for now. You can click advanced settings and you can actually adjust the video speed. And we want to clone the original voice. So it's going to extract my voice from the video. So I'm going to quickly play the video now. Design is if you're still using 2D boring designs and you want to change it up, then invite us with a cool new update that I want to show you. 3D assets page. They've got so you can see uh, it's in English. And then all I've got to do is click dub in two languages. Then you'll see it'll start transcribing it and it's going to add those videos into uh, my dubbed project. So I can click your workspace and you can see the videos here and I can click on it and it's still dubbing. So we just have to wait a little bit till the AI is finished creating the new dub for it. So I'm gonna go back to my workspace and click on that dubbed video, the Spanish one. And now you can see it has on the bottom on your timeline, you've got the captions and then you've got the audio. So I'm gonna play Play it and so you can hear it. Diseñadores, si todavía usáis diseños 2D aburridos y queréis cambiar, Envada tiene una actualización genial que quiero mostraros. Página de activos 3D. Tienen modelos nuevos y han colaborado con Kitbash, lo cual es genial. Tienen muchas colecciones. Tienen modelos. So it sounds pretty cool and pretty accurate. I don't know, I don't speak Spanish so I can't tell if it's accurate. But overall, uh, it's done a good job and the captions look good. And you can see it's even like colored the captions, added a background, which is, makes it really nice to view. You can obviously move the captions and create your own ones here. And then on the left, you get the um, subtitles uh, on the side or captions and I can like delete them. Uh, you know, you can merge the lines. You can even add a line, which is cool. So you have full control over this. You can even reduce how many words are on the line. So if you wanna make it like short snappy ones, um, and then what we want to do now is you can see Renders. in the video my lips aren't synced with the actual dub So what we want to do is click on the smart tools There's a little drop down menu on the left side here and you've got translate you've got custom spelling emojis and also lip sync so I'm gonna click lip sync and you can see here they give you an example without it and with it it does a pretty good job. So I'm gonna click apply lip sync. This would work better if your face is more straight on into the camera. Like, you know, I'm sitting straight and I'll be just talking like this, like a um, A-roll front talking head shot. Um, because in this video, it's a short, I'm sort of on an angle sometimes and it might not read it as, as the best. So just keep that in mind. It's good to test things and see, you know, with different lighting, how it responds to, um, and angles, how it responds the best. I um, also want to go back while that's loading there. Now I want to click on the Italian version. 
and we can see what the Italian version sounds like. I am half Italian, but I don't really uh, know, uh, speak it much. Designer, se usi ancora design 2D noiosi e vuoi cambiare e vada a un aggiornamento interessante che voglio mostrarti, pagina degli asset 3D. Hanno nuovi modelli e hanno collaborato con Kit Bash, il che è fantastico. Hanno delle collezioni, quindi un sacco di collezioni. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. And we can do the same thing. So subtitles, smart tools, lip sync, and we can apply and I'll auto apply to that video. Um, and then I can go back and it should be still processing that as well. Let me just go. Yeah, it's still applying it as you can see, which is cool. So it doesn't matter if you leave the, the uh, editing um, dashboard, it will actually still apply. Cool, so once it's done, this will, what it will look like. Here's an example of a video I did. Let's just uh, show you the, what the lips will look like. Y que creo que estarán en 2025. La primera es el 3D interactivo. Este primer... So it's not 100% perfect, but you know, you can see that you can see that it has done, like it moves the mouth and it tries to mimic real life, which is Tiene una cool. Tiene animación 3D, efectos al pasar el ratón, un poco de todo. Otro ejemplo de 3D. Y luego te despla... So it doesn't look a bit funky. That's why I said it's probably better if you just have a straightforward frontal shot of your face and it'll probably work better and with consistent lighting and um yeah so the lip sync feature is optional but overall the doubling feature is really cool once you're, you're done and you're happy with the video all you got to do is go to export projects on the top right corner and you can save it as an mp4 a gif png or, or just a audio and then i like to do 1080p sometimes you can do 4k but obviously the video becomes very big and then you can use the compression slider depending on you know how compressed you want it to be i usually put it around here um so it doesn't go too big and then i can export that and then you can see it'll start to export and then i can just download it and upload it to instagram and we're good to go and then think about all the languages you can dub it in to attract the right client that you want and it's especially good if you're someone who's you know english isn't your first language you know maybe you're in africa or you're in the philippines or maybe you're in India and you know English is not your strongest, then this is a cool way to get your videos out there in English or other languages and appeal to a broader audience. So yeah, try it yourself. Upload a video to Kapwing. You can actually try it out for free. Or if you do want voice cloning, you can upgrade to the business plan later on. Once you've given that a go and seen that it does work really well, then check it out. I will put a link in the description below. But if you want to start attracting a global network of clients and not just in your local city um, then start ai dubbing your voice and yes i getting more clients hope you enjoyed this video if you do want to see some more ai tools that are useful for designers then check out this video right here